Hey guys, what's up? Real quick, today we're going to talk about surpluses and shortages and what they mean. All right, end of this, you guys will be able to identify and discuss them, and I'm going to have you read some articles full of puns. Puns are fun, right? All right, here we go. All right, demand, review, the buyer's willingness and ability, the important part there. We can want all we want, but if we can't afford it and we're not willing to pay for it, then we don't really demand it. Supply, right? The amount of a product that producers and firms are willing to sell at a certain price point. Equilibrium is the amount that consumers want to buy and the amount that the producers want to produce, and it's where they meet in perfect harmony. Law of demand tells us that as the price of a good increases, the demand will decrease, and law of supply says that as the price of a good increases, the amount supplied will also increase. All things being equal is our Latin term. Right? We have four types of goods. We have normal goods, things that are name brand, inferior goods, things that are not name brand, substitute goods, things that can be used in place of another, and complement goods, things that usually go well with something else. Shortage, our first one today. A shortage occurs when the amount of demand of a good or service is greater than the amount supplied. Looks like quality demanded is greater than quantity supplied. Right? So what we see there is we see uh, an increase on that. So economic shortages are basically related to our price. When the price of a market is lower than the market price, a shortage will occur. If it's higher, we'll have what's known as a surplus. And what that really looks like for us is it really looks like something like this. At price one there, you can see that our price, uh, the quantity is at Q1, and the demand is at Q2, and that distance between the two is the size of the shortage that we're going to occur. Right? The price that a producer is willing to produce is at our Q1. The price that we are willing to purchase is at Q2. We are willing to purchase more than is supplied, therefore we have what's known as our shortage. Moving forward, we see the effects of a shortage. We might see black markets pop up, like concert tickets selling for two, three times the price. Artificial controls like rationing, think of the rations that we have to go through for watering our plants or getting gas in the 70s, whatever it might be, right? We see non-monetary bargaining such as um, first come, first serve or violence in order to get what we want. And last but not least, we see price discrimination where prices paid by different users depend on the amount of money that the user has. Ways to fix a shortage include decreased demand, so change the taste of the customer, increase the price, create a higher price, and increase the amount supplied, maybe work more factory hours or whatever it might be. We talk about surpluses, what we're talking about is we're talking about the quantity of a good or service that is greater than the quantity supplied, or, or, or is less than the quantity demanded. Quantity supplied is greater than the quantity demanded. Economic surpluses are related to price. When the price is too high, a surplus will occur. The best response is to lower our prices. Here's an example. P1, we see a demand that is relatively low because of the highness of the price. And we see a supply that is relatively high because of the highness of the, the price. So to find surpluses and shortages, we rely upon what's known as the law of supply and the law of demand that we, rely, we reviewed at the beginning of this lesson. So what we see there is we see that kind of taking shape. Now, ways that we can fix this, right, or the effects of it is we have extra product lying around. You guys are gonna read an article about corn and how we're just gonna have piles of corn in the Midwest because we're producing too fast, all right? We may have to slow down, see an economic slowdown because we don't have enough people purchasing things might be a response. And then we see lower prices. Lower prices for good uh, will begin to, to fall as the demand starts to change and we'll start to see that we are willing to purchase more at a lower price. Ways to fix it, we see lower prices, that's the easy way. Have a big sale, maybe it's a giant event, like a winter clearance event or a year-end car sale event to clear our lots, right? Have that. Next, we see a factory slowdown, we wanna probably lower the amount that we're producing, so cut hours, do all those things, which is bad for the worker, but it's good for the bottom line. Last but not least, we want to see a change in the advertising campaign. Maybe get somebody that's famous to endorse our product publicly. And then maybe that will change the amount of people that want like to purchase it. And those are all ways to fix it. So with our assignment today, what I want you guys to do is I want you guys to read about the orange shortage and the surplus of corn and the impact on those farmers and the juice makers and answer the attached questions. We'll go over reading strategies for this in class. Take care.